Hello, it is time for the daily update from the Republican Party of Arizona. I am your chairwoman, Dr. Kelly Ward. Last Friday, the report on the Arizona audit, as I call it, America's audit, was presented to the Arizona State Senate and to the world. We've gone over many of the audit findings in previous posts, and we have posted the link where you can read the whole report for yourself, and I hope you do. Now, people are asking, what's next? Including President Trump, who I have been very fortunate to speak to a couple of times this week. So here are some of the steps that we are going to see as we go forward in this process. Senate President Karen Fan forwarded the entire report to the State Attorney General Mark Burnovich, along with a letter asking him to look into specific findings. The Attorney General has said that he and his Election Integrity Unit will examine the entire report and they are going to move forward with anything that needs legal intervention, anything that they find. He also advised Maricopa County to preserve all election related materials. I'm glad he finally did that because I've been urging him to take that step since November. He needs to act and he needs to act swiftly. We have got to continue to push for the AG's Election Integrity Unit to look into the results of the grassroots canvassing effort by Liz Harris of the people in Maricopa County who voted in 2020. The results of that effort were extremely disturbing. Lost votes, ghost votes, dead voters, and more. And I am pushing for the AG to conduct his own canvass. He also needs to impound the routers and the other digital information that the county still hasn't delivered to the state senate via a uh, special master or otherwise. Also, numerous state legislators have weighed in saying that the audit findings have exposed gaps, massive gaping holes in election integrity that need to be addressed and filled by legislation now. They want to pass that legislation in time to have the needed changes go into effect before 2022, before that election. That likely means we are going to need a special session. Will Governor Ducey call one? There's also a movement to begin an audit of Pima County, Arizona's second largest county. Mark Fincham running for Secretary of State is heading it up. Pima has long been run by Democrats, and if you want to expose shenanigans, Pima is a great place to look. In fact, we need to audit all 14 other Arizona counties to truly know, to truly know what occurred in 2020. Now, since Maricopa County, which has been audited, accounts for over 60% of Arizona's vote, these additional audits are likely to be completed much, much more quickly, especially if we don't encounter the same delay tactics that came from Maricopa County's elected officials and their attorneys. Really, honest election officials have nothing to fear from a forensic audit. They should welcome it in a way, uh, as a way to improve their systems and increase voter confidence in their areas. Remember, here at the Republican Party of Arizona, the fight for election integrity continues. And it is always America first. I'll see you next time.